Yeah, hello guys. Um, this is the my phone Um, today we'll be talking about short circuit on mobile phone or gadgets. Short circuit on mobile phone or gadgets. So, guys, before um, I'll go ahead to treat this um, topic or course, so um, I'll be urging you guys if you are new to this channel, um, you are welcome, you are highly welcome. So, don't forget to subscribe forget to subscribe and if you are a returning subscribers I want to say thank you very much for for coming back again to watch our video so um, when you are done with this video please don't forget to click on the like button and uh, uh, for those that are watching for the first time don't forget to click on the subscribe button so let me go straight up now what is the meaning of short circuit now a short circuit or short circuit gadget is said to be short or short circuit when an electronic flow travels through another wrong route or direction on the motherboard which intend to cause what bridging now what i mean by um, an electronic flow travels through another wrong route now what causes what causes electronics flow to travel through wrong routes one it's your capacitor what is capacitor if your capacitor is 40, definitely if your capacitor is 40, that means you know capacitor has two sides, which is the positive and negative. Now, if this capacitor is 40, that means the current that is coming from here, the electronics flow that is coming from here, and the electronics current that is coming from the negative is going to meet with this with this current here. And what will happen? It will cause bridging. To cause bridging because this capacitor is damaged. A capacitor, when we say the capacitor is short, that means the plus, that's the positive and negative ion, ion what? In close contact, that they, they, they are together. They are on which they are not supposed to be together. So that is why I said, an electronic flow travels through another wrong route or direction on the motherboard. So another component that can also cause short circuit is your diodes. If your diode is sporty, it can cause um, short circuit or bridging on your motherboard or your circuit board. Then we have the IC. Another word for IC is integrated circuit. Now, if the IC is faulty, you see that the IC will be getting it up or it will be running a kind of high temperature. So, IC also is another factor that, that causes um, short on your motherboard. Now, um, We've talked about the meaning of short circuit. Now we'll be talking about um, type of short circuit. Oh, guys, I'm not I'm not fast. So um, short circuit. We have said we have types of short circuit. One, we have the full short, that's SC short circuit. Then two, we have the partial short circuit. That's partial short. So what is full short? Full short, a full a full short or a full full short circuit is said to be short when you test your battery connector. You know our battery connector on our mobile phone it has plus or minus. Now, if the plus or minus using testimeter to check, if you set your if you um, tune your testimeter or your multimeter to diode mode or buzzer mode, now. If you test the plus and minus of the battery connector and it's beeping, that means it's full short. Now, if you're talking about partial short, hope, hope you understand what I said full short. I said full short is when you use your testimeter. Um, when you use your testimeter to check your battery connector, that's the plus and minus, and it's giving a beeping sound on the on the on the testimeter or multimeter, that means it's full short. Now, in case of partial short, partial short occurs when your battery connector, when your battery connector is not short, is not, is not, um, is not acting the way this full short is acting. It is really normal on the battery connector, but on some session of on the motherboard, like the network session or the power section. If some capacitor or components are short, that means that that has partial short, which can also cause your mobile phone to not come up. 
So now I'll be showing you guys how to I'll be showing you guys how to um, troubleshoot your short circuit using your testimeter. So guys, um, I'll be switching to my microscope now so that you guys can you guys can see the difference between the full shot and the partial shot. So now uh, we are going to switch to our microscope so that um, you will see the difference between the full shot and the partial shot on the phone that we have on ground. So you see the difference between the full shot and the partial shot. Are you getting me? So um, let's switch to our microscope. So um, guys, um, this is um, one board there and this is another board there. So how do we check for shots? You know, I explained that we have partial shots and what and full shots, right? Now, how do we check for shots using testimeter? Now, our testimeter is on um, buzzer mode or diode mode. You can see it's on buzzer mode. Let's bridge these two together. You can see it's beeping. You can see our testimeter is beeping. It's beeping. So now let's check the battery connector of this this journey here. This one. Let's check the battery connector if it's beeping. You can see it's beeping. So what is that? What is that called? Is it full shot or partial shot? This is a full shot because it's beeping from the battery connector. Now let's check this, the other one. Whether it's full shot or partial shot. You can see this one is working normal, but it's really normal. Are you getting me? But the phone is not coming up. So now if I want to detect where it's having an issue, make sure you check the capacitor because major, majorly um, shots normally occur on capacitor majorly is on capacitor then maybe when testing when you um, troubleshoot the capacitor you are trying to look for fault and the capacitor is not short you cannot go to diode to look for short are you getting me so then if then lastly it will be on chip if a chip is getting it up that means i think it's short or one of the components is making the chip to to run temperature so make sure first thing you have to do for you to um for you to fix a mobile phone that is having short or a gadget that is having short firstly check if the capacitor is short first now like this one i've detected the the capacitor that is having shots so you can see can you bring the camera closer before i switch to my microscope i want them to see that it's bridging so your positive probe must be on the negative terminal um, on the negative on the ground of the phone then your negative terminal must be or uh, you must be using it to check for 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 shots you can see there's this capacitor here this capacitor here i will switch to the microscope so that you'll be able to see this capacitor here is short why the rest is not short so i think this capacitor is the one that is causing the short why this full short i think this is the capacitor that is causing the full short so now hope you guys can see what I'm trying to say on the net on the network session on the network section the the phone is short but on the battery connector is not short it's reading well but this this one is full short on the battery connector you know that it's full short hope you guys understand so um right now I'll be switching to my microscope that I use so that you guys will see what I'm talking about you'll be able to see the com uh, components closer are you getting me so uh let's switch to our microscope so um guys um you can see this is the components this one is one that is short all these are normal let me zoom in this one is short this one is working fine this one is working fine this one is working fine too this component is short that means we have a short on this network session we have short on this network session that is not um, reacting on this uh, battery connector so um now let's check for the this is a full shot this is a full shot so make sure if you want to rectify full shot look for capacitor that is very very close to the uh, positive side of the terminal you can see this is the capacitor so once you remove this capacitor i think the full shot should be off from it should be off from it let's see let's remove this capacitor let's remove the capacitor
I see um, it's working perfectly now. Our uh, short circuit, but that is having issue. You can see it's working perfectly. All right, sir. So um, you can see, guys, um, it's working. It wasn't. It was not coming up before. So now it's working perfectly. So, uh, guys, uh, I think I will stop here. Then I will continue on this. This I'm going to do the same thing. What I did on the full shot. See that I replace it or I leave it like that. Uh, on a case whereby you remove the capacitor, it doesn't come up. Come up, you replace it with a new one because at times there are some sessions that need a capacitor just to boost the voltage on that uh, session. So um, you can see what I did on the full shot. I removed the capacitor. I removed it off from the board. So and it was working fine. So I will be doing the same thing on the passer shot. So guys, um, if you love this video. Um, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe um, guys uh, see you you can also turn on the notification bell so that um, once we drop an update you'll be the first to get the update so guys um, thank you for watching this is the iPhone clinic